It's a question. Fuck. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I will answer that. I've got plenty of questions or answers too. But um, so that plugin, does it check uh, Diffie Hellman or anything like that? Like um, any of the plugins that you could develop? The, for the web browser, like there, there are components that you can check that aren't the certificate, essentially. And so I'm curious about why, like, so I have um, 1,499 cache certificates from banks in the United States that had weak keys and around the world and stuff, because I, I did a talk on this at Hackers on Planet Earth. And uh, we wanted to find out if it was like possible to get around that. So like you can have the certificate for the bank for example, and that plugin will block it. But what are the other things that are more universal that don't have to do with the certificates in SSL? I mean, you should know you wrote the, the Wireshark plugin, so I'm curious. Like, Javier, can you translate me this? Just, sorry, that maybe is like kind of. By translate, I mean in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I listen to him. I can understand him, but I listen to him. <laughs> Does the Spanish speaker want to explain this? I think he's asking if you could blacklist, for example, the components of the protocol Diffie-Hellman. No, you can't. Yeah, sure. I can repeat the question in English. Can you blacklist the private exponent of the Diffie-Hellman uh, handshaking? That's the question? Why you, you use many words? It was so simple. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see why you can't. Uh. Uh, presentation. Yeah. Okay. The problem is that the public numbers are P, C, and both Ys. Ys are the public uh, part of the Diffie-Hellman. P is a prime number and G is a generator. The issue here is that P is really random. So if the client, uh, the P is random and it's defined by the server. So if the, is the, if, the, if the client is the, weak, is the weak one, if the server is weak, you can. If the client is weak, you can't. But we, don't, we shouldn't uh, uh, focus only in HTTP. In fact, there are many protocols that use uh, the, uh, SSL. Uh, can you re-ask? I don't mean. I am. I guess uh, a better way to phrase that question, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I haven't had breakfast, I'm, nor coffee, so. Um, so is it possible that there are things other than keys that you can pre-compute? You, you mentioned that there was a snort plugin, I wasn't familiar with that. So perhaps there are other things you can do to look at the network and see values that cross the wire that are universal, say for like uh, x86, 32-bit machines. Yeah, you need to brute force in each, in each time. If you need to, to check a communication, you need to brute force it. Well, but um, how long would it take to do all of the computation necessary for all of the different combinations? Well, is that, that is a problem with the SSH uh, plugin, which, which is the, those one. I mean, if you create many communications in parallel, uh, most of those communication will not be checked. Uh, in the case of the Wireshack plugin, it's not something too bad because you have the pickup uh, so it, you are uh, you are making an, an offline attack, but it's not taking too long. L l let's try. I mean, okay. One, two, three. Okay, it's brute forcing, it's brute forcing, it's brute forcing, it's brute forcing, it's brute forcing. Okay, now it's working, now it's working. Uh, we have a progress bar, but in the next version. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, still work. Hey, let's finish. So, that sounds gives you an idea of how much it takes. Right. So, I mean, I guess you Just could write a, you could write a snort plugin, for example, that sniffs the wire and looks for those Diffie Hellman uh, components, and you don't care about certificates. Wouldn't that be smaller than than all of the uh, SSL? Um, all of the SSL certificates for all the different architectures? Yeah, the certificate, yes. But uh, we, we are talking different things. Uh, the certificates is one thing, and another thing, and another issue is the Diffie Hellman exchange. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, improve on the way that you're detecting that they're weak. Like, for example, this does not detect a, wi a weak, your, the, the Firefox plugin does not detect a weak lib SSL that has uh, an No, 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 no. They, they're detecting weak certificates. Right, I understand. In order that. to avoid a man in the middle attack. But you, uh, yeah, well, you can like uh, dis you could read the traffic later. Though I mean, if there's a weak libssl, none of the SSH tools do this. I wasn't like. I yeah, you make a plugin to check Diffie Hellman's too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We will take a, a long time in each uh, click in SSL communication, but it's okay. It's up to you. Yeah. Sure. Another question. We at uh, the last question. Whew. You are a privilege. Hello. It's not a question. It's more of a comment. Uh, nice. And I would like to say, and it's not to you, it's to Kurt. I think, uh, personally, I would like to reaffirm that I have complete trust in Kurt's technical expertise. And I think this demonstrates clearly this analysis that he did anything, everything which a good maintainer is expected to do. And I will not have any problems having using your packages in the future. Oh, me neither. And, and I hope a lot of people will support me. Thank you. And if you need any kind of emotional support, I would be glad to provide it. Thanks.